Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, friends. Good morning, Mr. Martinanda. In today's occasion, I will share some information or additional knowledge for you guys about making music. So this is making music 101. Okay, this is my table of content. I divided uh, the chapters into three different chapters. What you're trying to make? Let's make real music and let them know. Okay, the first chapter is what you're trying to make. Just like every other work or artwork, you need to know what your aim is, what your goal is, and what you're trying to make. Because that's the pillar and that's the fundamental of every work that you're gonna put in. Next. Okay, first thing first, inspiration is crucial. Because uh, inspiration allows us to give our work into the best version. And inspiration comes from the good references. So if you have a lot of good refer references, it means you'll have a good inspiration. Next, sir. Type of music. What message do you want to give to your listener? Say you want to uh, deliver a message to your listener about happiness or about misery, sadness, or anything else. I think anything else. It could be a critic, a persuasive music, or whatever you want. Next. And there's a genre of music. Uh, I hope you guys can see this. But yeah, there's a lot of genre of music that you can use to deliver your music to touch your listener view. And next. It leads us to genre. Genre means vibes, and no vibes means no music. Because the sole purpose of music is to move other people feeling to their heart and to their mind. So, with no vibes, there's no music. And vibes comes with genre. Next. The second chapter, let's make some real music. We're getting serious here, but uh, just for your additional information, yes. Next. Pour some lyrics, unless you want to go instrumental. In many mainstream music, you put some lyrics to do the verbal communication and to understand, no, to understand, to give understanding to your listener about what you really want to give to them and how you can uh, make it clear to the listener. Next. This is the common song structure. Probably you guys ever see this. There's intro, first one, chorus, bridge, and chorus, first two, chorus, bridge, chorus, and outro. It's just uh, additional information. Next. Keys of the song. With great keys comes great musicality. So, for me, keys of the song is like putting on a makeup. You put makeup to become prettier, right? And it's also the choice of the keys. So the prettier the keys, the prettier the music is, and the better output you give to the listener. The last chapter, people need to know, as we all know, music is part of performing arts. It means that we should allow the public to know what we keep up of and what we create. Next. Workshop. Well, as an independent artist, uh, we don't really need workshop, but workshop is a time to discuss and decide what to put into your music and what to eliminate from your music. And yeah, <laughs> next. Next stop recording. Unless you want to keep it for yourself, you don't need to do that. Next. There's a mixing and mastering. This is a bit technical. I'm not gonna uh, talk about it any further, but yeah. Just so you know. Next. The last one is evaluating. You sure you're done? You sure you're satisfied with the result? Because if you pour your ideas into some kind of product, which is music, and you're not satisfied with it, I think it's a waste of time, energy, and also money. Because, yeah, it's just a waste of ideas, you know. Next. Make them listen. Tell the world that you're capable of, of making it great.
great art and your uh, power to do so. And that's all for me. Thank you.